Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play You Don't Know Jack the Ride. Oh yeah, here's game number two of this, and not quite sure I know what's going on with the overall descent to the bottom thing, and the final episode's gonna be a match against Satan or something, who knows. Well, anyway, let's see what little moral dilemma they throw at us today. Which isn't a dilemma at all, really. Bigger turn on. I'm a guy. Yeah, you never know. Greetings. Welcome to the ride. I'm afraid I can't promise you any scantily clad caricatures on the floor where you're headed. That was a cheap marketing trick used to get you to pick the dairy products floor. I mean, really, of who would pick it was. dairy products for a game? Anyway. How many contestants are there? Just me. You're alone, by yourself. That's great. Thank you. Are you a first-time rider? No, not anymore. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to have you back. I need you to type in your name now. How about no? Thank you. Remember <laughs> to be all you can be. And hey, good luck. <laughs> all I did was hit enter and oh, it typed it I out have for to me. Cut down on dairy. So bad for my throat. Floor 12. Time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Never at 112. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Lactose John's Ladies of the Evening. Come teat, uh, meet our girls. Uh, and now here's the host, delicious uh, at his name, Cookie. It's a pleasure uh, to see you. You know, I think we're what? gonna have a good game here. It's gonna be just like butter. <laughs> Well, I hope you took your lactate. We're taking a ride oh, on the Milky 20. Way. Okay. okay, buzz in and lock out to the highest value you can. Your category Four is... Four Ks, right. Dairy, dairy, I need your hugging. And now, the question. If you wanted to use real butter to butter up your lover, which of the following should you say? Your eyes are blue as the land of lakes. You're the best ever. I promise. You're stacked like a country crock. Or, I can't believe it's not butter. I'm pretty sure the only one real there is land of lakes. It's like real butter. So kiss and make up. But remember, keep those sticks wrapped. That's very good now advice. select really. the highest value and see if you hit the jackpot. This one's no, called... Not the jackpot. Dairy Fresh Rock and Roll. Okay, play ball. What dairy treat might you expect to be served in a white room with black curtains near the station? Ice milk, cream, yogurt, or custard? White room is a hit by Eric Clapton's old band, Cream. I tell you, this guy Clapton is in a whole dairy aisle by himself. Yes, he is. Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag the highest value you can. Ah, ah you blew it. Here's yes, your I category. Did. Are Cracker Jacks kosher? You know how sportscaster Harry Carey always shouted, Holy cow! Well, if Harry Carey said holy cow because he believed cows to be sacred, what religion did he probably practice? Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, or Judaism? I'm pretty sure it's Hindu. You can take that to the bank. All 600 bucks Cows are considered sacred by Hindus, especially when they hit home runs. That's a talented cow. cow. Holy cow. Hey, buzz into selective value. Uh huh. Okay, give it up for. <laughs> no thanks, I'll just spread some vomit on a cracker. Ew. And right this way, please. Suppose a group of dairy farmers are having their company photo taken. Instead of, say cheese, what should the photographer say to get them to smile? Say pasteurized blocks of yeast. Say pressed and matured milk curd. Say non-lactose oxygenation process. Or, say hormone altering cow injections. Oh, you know. Pressed and matured milk curd. 
But if you really want these farmers to smile, just put a teat in each of their hands. Hey, what are you doing? Get your hands off that holy tea! Holy cow! Alright, it's time to choose the value of the question. Let's do it. We're calling this one. Aww. I'll whip your cream and beat your eggs, too. Hey, you were a kid once, right? Well, you've surely heard the phrase, last one ends a rotten egg. Well, if the last major fighting nation to enter into World War II were a rotten egg, which country would smell like sulfur? Italy, France, Russia, or the United States? Uh, was it us or Russia? We stink. We didn't join the war until 1941. That's why we're known as the land of milk and nanny nanny boo boo. Hit your buzzer to choose the value of the next question. The category is... I get soggy in milk. Hey, you know how nations are always boycotting the Olympics for one reason or another? Well... Say the Olympic Village serves cold cereal for breakfast. Because its athletes are more likely to be lactose intolerant, what country will most likely boycott the breakfast? Brazil, Japan, the United States, or Sweden? Wow. Huh. Are Japanese prone to it? Asians are more likely yeah. than any other ethnic group to be lactose intolerant. But given the choice between soy milk and sushi on my Wheaties, I'll take the fish. Alright, bang your buzzer and grab the highest value. Excuse me, 5K. I think you just stepped in roadkill. No. Buzz in when you see the item that correctly pairs up the two items on the screen. And don't forget, bonus cash for the bonus puzzle at the end. Okay, pop the clutch, baby. Normal dance party. And zany redhead Lucille wants the intersection between these two. Ball. Dealt and applause. And score. Female elephant and lick in your hair. Cow. Gravy holder and show blank. Baby boats. Covering and series of musical notes. Scales. Ah. There it is. Scales, boat, cow. Hat trick and simple high blank. Hat trick. Score. Deals with the fly in your soup. And dump blank. Later. All right, let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all items in my front pocket? Things you tip. Items found in the They were things you tip. Dang it. You melt cheese! Items in my front pocket! Cheers for lactose intolerance! Things that contain milk! Thank you! Oh yeah, put it in the bank! Here's a tip for you. Don't get all hopped up on Twinkies, okay? You'll thank me later. Especially when they're gonna be gone. That's what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. Okay, buzz in and lock on to the... I like to call this category... 6K. Little Jack Horner got a better meal. Hey, remember that old nursery rhyme went something like this? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. So tell me, what the hell is whey? The liquid part of coagulated milk, mold scraped off an aged cheese, the stomach lining of a calf, or pudding skin? That's the liquid part of milk. 
Way to go! Next, we'll figure out what the hell or tough it is. Whey is the watery part that separates from the solid milk curds when making cheese. I like mine in a rocks glass with vodka. All right, buzz in for the cash. Here's your category. Can't see these that well, I guess. Mount Olympus could have used a Starbucks. All right, now listen to me. 4,020 bucks could be yours, but there's just one thing standing in your way. So tell me, which of these is not a half and half? A centaur, a harpy, a cyclops, or the minotaur? Yeah, cyclops. I think I'll be taking my coffee black from now on. A cyclops is just a big old guy with one eye in the middle of his forehead. Now select the highest value and see if you hit... Oh, nice picking! Yeah. Well, I for one am very excited. Oh, we have a dis or dat question. The category for this dis or dat is... With a little effort, you can show up at the same time. Okay, listen up, because I'm going to read off seven words. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a word that begins with chicken or a word that begins with egg. Huh. For each right answer, you get some cash. And you're going to lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you have 30 seconds to get all of them. Let's do it. Wire, chicken, or egg. Beauty, let's see your new score. All right, there it is. Let's keep moving. Okay, select the value of the questions. Bank your buzzer. Your category is... It's almost leet. Crying over spilled milk. Hey, remember that 70s court case in San Francisco where the murderer got a reduced sentence for saying he was hopped up on junk food when he did the crime? Well, considering the famous defense used in the case, who would have been the most appropriate defense lawyer for the murderer of politician Harvey Milk? Twinkie the Kid, Susie Q, King Ding Dong, or Little Debbie? Oh, what was it called? <sighs> Here's what you should have picked. Twinkie the Kid? Well, yeah, I guess it was known as the Twinkie Defense. Maybe he can lasso as a judge who knows a just ruling from one. his, uh, snowballs. Hit your buzzer to select the value you want. This one's called... This used to be Sean Penn's Playground. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. Say Madonna used a hand pump to get her breast milk flowing before feeding her baby. Which of her songs would best describe this process? Open your heart, express yourself, justify my love, or into the groove? I'm kind of dubious on how much it would help, but... Mothers can express breast milk by using a hand pump. But how she got milk out of them cone-shaped boobs, I'll never know. Well, it's highly unlikely I will. <laughs> Hey, buzz in to select a value. Okay. Thirteen questions, including the attack. Ah, smell that derriere. Oh, sorry, here's your clue. McDonald had a farm. Yeah, so we've heard. Quit bragging about his damn farm already. I hate that guy. There's the cats. There's the dog. Sheep. Really? This is what we're going with, huh? Really, we're going with animal onomatopoeia. Really? I mean... Just... Really? <laughs> yeah, I need to 
think of horse sausage. I mean, I suppose it's been done before, but... Mouse... I like that music. Damn! Seven for seven! And against very stiff competition! Indeed. So, that's floor 120. Dairy products. Huh. This is oh my god. This song hurts. When you moved into our cottage, I said to myself, Hey, cheese the one. You didn't have to milk it or egg me on, but our chances are skim to none. Now. Give me your true and utter love, all else pales in comparison. Ow. I need your true and utter love, uh -huh. but you dare refuse me some. How much of the song is there? Did they actually write out a full song full of dairy puns? Cow. And I just did it too. Give me your true and utter love. All else pales in comparison. I need your true and utter love. Don't you dare refuse me some. Todd Rundgren, really? Wow. Is in the I don't want to work guy? Anyway. Tonight on the Nature Channel, don't miss part two of the critically acclaimed documentary, that was Ducks. Funny but painful. Holy. Part two of Ducks. Tonight anyway. at 9 Eastern, 8 Central. Only I'm going to see Nature you guys channel. next time while I think about that Welcome freaking aboard, song. Sit back, relax. <sighs> Our friendly flight crew will take I'll see you guys care. later. I'm, Here, I'll sir, leave you with the rest of this. Be good and tight. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you care for a foot massage? We want your flight to be an extremely pleasurable and memorable experience. I'll gladly help you stow your tray table, sir. I'll just need to sit on your lap. May I put my arm around you, sir? Would you like to join our Mile High Club? At Advance Airlines, we're getting our customers off the ground. The catcher signal called for a brush back high and inside. But when I looked down at my bracelet, I thought, what would Satan do? So I beamed him in the head and turned all the fans hot dogs into snakes. Satanko. Uh-oh, sounds like someone's drunk again. I can drive fine. Give me my key. <laughs> this week on another uproarious episode of Mean Drunk, Miriam doesn't hide David's scotch bottle well enough. I should have married your sister. <laughs> and David's boss tries to get him to help himself. Stick your 12 steps up your ass. <laughs> so tune in for another laugh-filled episode of Mean Drunk and see the show that America's bar guide called the most entertaining hour on television. The f*** you looking at? <laughs> Johnson? Yes, sir? Get in here. Is there a problem, sir? Look, Johnson, I'm not gonna sit here and blow sunshine up your ass. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Who are you? How the hell'd you get in here? I'm the Sunshine Pixie, and I'm here to tell you that Sunshine Suppositories are the perfect pick-me-up when life has got you down. Here, try one. What the? Oh. Oh. See what I mean, Sunshine? Johnson, put your pants back on. Oh, calm down, Mr. Pouty Puss. Here. Hey! Hey! See? Sunshine suppository sweeten your disposition in a snap. Uh, what was it that you wanted to see me about, boss? Uh, forget it. 
You're doing a great job. Thanks. Sunshine suppositories, spread your cheeks for a little sunshine today. This is for my Baptist minister, who instilled in me at a very young age the evils of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. This is for the kids at school, who by refusing my friendship, forced me to adapt and infiltrate any and all social cliques. This is for my older brother, whose bad taste in music gave me a CD collection large enough to drive any person under siege insane. I'm proud to be an officer for the ATF. We raid more homes and violate more constitutional rights by 9 a.m. than most criminals do in a day. The ATF, keeping our country free for you and me. Who has time to cook? We don't. We're Sam. And Ella. And we want to invite you down to Sam, Sam and Ella's. Ella's so you can get you and your family a good home raw meal. Eats to sell you runny eggs and chickens. Good and raw mayo from the straw. We'll do the finger lickings. We got frog legs and yeast and dry gelatin. You look till you puke in our dirty kitchen. Acute symptoms may last for one to two days. Or maybe prolong again, depending on host factors. And strained characteristics. Salmon Ellis. Fill your bellies with spore-forming bacterium. Animal feces, all your favorite species. Slides down your throats like chum. Yum!